Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. There was no gap. I started recording one after the other. Alright. So. This next part. This is how you get to where we're going. This can be tricky to actually know that there's somewhere down here. So this is where it is. It's to the left of that ship. Oh, and I said, oh, ooh. <laughs> I was going to scan this thing, actually. This is a research scan. The ship. So that's our gunship. Registered to Samus. So yeah, it recharges everything. Our missiles, our health, and saves. So we go through this little cave here. This will lead somewhere that we already have been. Some more of these mushrooms. Okay. What is next? This is just a straight line, so yeah, we're here. It should look familiar. Now that that Phazon is gone, looks like they came and took it and then dispatched some combat patrols actually. After they spotted us last time. Good riddance. One left, two less space pirates to deal with. So in here, this is another easy power-up to miss. There's a missile right up here. And that's our hundredth missile. Well, not our hundredth expansion, but now we hold a hundred missiles. Can you imagine someone walking around with these powerful energy weapons and a suit made of something stronger than steel and uh, they're walking around with a hundred freaking homing missiles that is a scary thought Samus would be an awesome superhero would she not alright so let's go in this door here some big metal structure here looks like twisted metal or something so we go in this little cave and uh You'll notice that things start looking kind of familiar. Huh. This looks like somewhere I've been before. Hmm. Can't quite place it. Oh my goodness! One thing you can do is actually freeze these guns, which at least stops them from shooting you. I don't think the ice beam actually does damage, though. But boy, does this place look familiar. So, if you haven't guessed by now, and I don't know how you haven't, but this is the beginning of the game right here. That's right. This is the space pirate frigate. Frigate. Yes, and the same one that we destroyed in the beginning. It basically crashed right on the planet, right on the Talon overworld. And now we have to go right back through it. So here are these tasty mutant crabs. And these are the only ones of these that exist in the entire game. They appear nowhere else. Just go right through them. I don't have the patience to kill them. They're pretty strong. Or resilient, I guess. And there's this big room right here, and this is the room where we fought the Parasite Queen. This is it. And it has been, you can see it was destroyed. This is actually the reactor core, I believe, for the Space Pirate Frigate. This is where its power is supposed to come from, assuming it's not broken. But the, uh, the goal for pretty much everywhere in the space pirate frigate is hit the energy conduits light up the door so that's what we're gonna do in pretty much every room of this whole place that one I can't get from right here from this angle I don't know if I can get it from up here or I have to go down to the bottom I saw a dude where are you Slowly trying to... Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck under the platform. How pathetic. 
You're silly space pirate programming. I don't think I'm hitting him. So where was that thing? Hey, there's stuff blocking it. Okay, well I'm just going down here. And I should kill this guy first. I should actually scan him first, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. Ooh! There's my... Oh, there's my L button acting up again. Aqua Pirate. Alright, I wonder if I hold the button less, it'll do better. So these are just flying pirates, but underwater. Basically, they're not as strong, because just like us, their weapons are just kind of slower and not as useful underwater. So, you know, we have that same problem, but they seem to have trouble dodging, especially the wave beam because it homes in. So they're not too big a deal. If you remember, that's the actual door we came through when we fought the Parasite Queen. So it now, it inexplicably does not require spheres to open. Also, this... Oh wait, that does make sense, because there's an elevator right there. I was saying this corridor looks small, but it's because of the elevator. Uh, there is a save room right here. It's the same one as before, and I don't think I even used it, did I? Did I even show it? Alright, so anyway, hit the energy thingies. Did I get it? Yeah, I think I did. And continue on. There's my narration again. This is as far as you can go without the gravity suit. So if you want, you can get this energy tank before going after the gravity suit. I wouldn't recommend it because this whole area is very difficult to navigate. Did I get this? I don't know. The sound is, is very low. I mean, it's there. It's just low. I can hear it, but not while I'm talking. So... Hey, I got that one. You don't want to miss either of these two. Those two right there, you really do not... Oh, you pushed me! What are you doing? You don't want to miss those two. But yeah. I actually think this whole area is wonderful. I love it. Whenever I get to the, uh, the Space Pirate Frigate, you know, the second time around, this is really when the beauty of this game strikes me. And, uh, I'd like to hear your opinions also on this area. Because I, I love it. You know, there's it's got everything. It's It's got beautiful music. Creepy, but beautiful atmosphere. Uh, just great. And it's also got nostalgia. Of course, from Super Metroid. The crash ship there is quite similar. Quite quite more creepy, I think, though. That one actually had, like, ghosts and crap on it like that. But this whole area used to give me chills. Ah, oh, it's great. Now, you may not remember, but I asked you to remember whether there was something on this wall when we first went through it. And, of course, there was not, but there is now. So it's not actually the same map. It is changed. Here is an aqua drone. These are exactly the same as the other drones, but they're in water. It's a very common thing in this game to do that. Just really not change the enemy, just put it in water. But call it something different. If you remember, this was the crate, or the, the thing that had that xenomorph you know, the side hopper in it before, and now we can break it open with a super missile, and it appears that the side hopper has died. Probably it drowned, or maybe it ran out of food, or who knows? Could have escaped for all I know. But it has, it appears to have been carrying a missile expansion. And in this area, you do want to utilize the thermal visor to find these if you can't because it's a little tricky to see 
where those uh, those conduits are. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love it. This right here is my favorite area of the game. I know it's kind of a pain to like go through it, but uh, there is a shortcut, so you don't have to go through this ever again. But I know it's kind of a pain to just go through it. It's long and tedious. And of course the uh, the conduit parts are a little off-putting, I guess. But still, this is my favorite area of the game. You know, bar none. I love it. <laughs> love it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I completely neglected the conduit. There's one up there. Well, that's not going to work. Ice is not the correct power. Go shoot it! There we go. One there. That's it. It also always surprises me how actually lengthy this segment is, because I always think of it as just this tiny connect connective area you go through. And I'm also struck by how extensive it is, because you do go through the entire Space Pirate Frigate from the beginning. I didn't scan these. This is an... Ooh, what is this? An aqua sac, I think? Aqua sac. Sounds like a terrible medical condition. Ah, uh, I've been afflicted with aqua sac. Anyways... They burst like the sap sack, but uh, it doesn't damage you at all ever. Yeah, and sometimes you'll see dead space pirates. They drowned. It was not pleasant. And this is of course one of the elevators from the game. I just think this was brilliant. You know, underwater, putting this frigate underwater and doing it again. I, I love that, okay? I love it, okay. I can't say that enough, so I love it. This right here is a bit tricky. It's a very, oh wait, <laughs> no, not this. But there's a variation on the Morph Ball bomb jump, and it works like this. So it's different from the triple bomb jumps. Uh, that's a tricky energy tank to get. Not as tricky as the one in Magmore, but it's still tricky. So they just found a little different way to do the bomb jump. It's over now. That's the last part of the frigate. And, uh, I love how the music, it's still active now in the water. You don't really kind of know where you are just water, but then you come up out of the water, and the uh, Talon Overworld theme just kicks right in. I love that. And then you just come up here, and oh, you're in Talon Overworld. I just, ah, oh, it's fantastic. And you go through here. This looks similar to a room we were in before. The one that had the missile under there, but I wouldn't recommend going down there. There's no missiles or anything down here. Do not go there. Very dangerous. Intense radiation. Ah. So you see here it says Phazon Mine. So that is a totally new area. And I was talking about the gauntlet earlier. Er, earlier. Wow, 28 minutes. That, that's a long segment. Pretty long segment. Wow. Uh, oh no, that's not minute. I was looking at megabytes. Oh, you stupid idiot! It's I've only been doing this for four or fourteen and a half minutes. I just saw twenty nine, and I thought that was the minute, so that's the file size. All right, so this this is going to be a bit of a short episode. So I'm going to stop it pretty soon. Because the Phazon Mines is the gauntlet. The, this, this is the entrance, but, but after, after the entrance, there's a very uh, lengthy segment that has no save rooms for a very long time. 
and that's called the Gauntlet. It's full of fights, full of pirates, full of just so much awesomeness. And I'm going to save that for next time. So, this is a new type of turret, actually, the Mega Turret. So they basically made their sentry gun even stronger. So... Yeah. They're even stronger, so they take more hits, do more damage. They're the classic uh, recoloring, except they're not really a recoloring. Just... I don't even know if it's a different design. It might be slightly different looking, but... It's just more powerful, basically. But before I stop the video, there's a little bit of stuff to do just in this little entrance area. And there's a, there's a control room up here for their crane, and space parts, of course, spot me. This is a nice place to actually show off, possibly show off, the ragdoll physics of the space pirates interacting with their environment. Sometimes they... See, look, it's sliding. It's See, there, there it goes. The, look at the arm placement. There is definitely dead body physics in this game which is awesome. Sometimes this one right here will show that pretty nicely. Oh, nope. Shot him too far. He just fell right off. But see? They do actually have some type of ragdoll physics. It's basic, but it does control their placement of their limbs and some basic interaction with the environment. I just want to tell you that the crane actually needs energy and says you to look for a power conduit. I guess I'll read some of this stuff just because I'm trying to drag this episode out just a little bit. But uh, yeah, there's a little bit of stuff for you to read if you want. You actually want to shoot this thing on the crane. It can be a bit tricky to see that one, but of course you have the thermal visor, so. It's not too big of a problem. You want to go scan this thing again. And we've hacked their crane. It has conveniently, you know, broken this section of wall out and also hooked up with this energy track. That's what you do. I also like this effect here where it fades out so you can see, like Samus. That's another good one. They do that in Luigi's Mansion also. But yeah, another missile expansion. What's that, like the... Wait, how many missiles? 110 now. You can fill up here. And here's how you actually enter the gauntlet. You want to scan these things, and now shut down this force field here, so you can go through there. And that is the entry right there to the gauntlet, as I call it, as many people call it. Can't think of a better name for it, really. But so many newbies have cried trying to get through there with a severe lack of save station and a severe preponderance of space pirates. So that'll be fun. There'll also be some scans, some nice interesting scans as well. So I'd recommend sticking around for that next time if you enjoyed this at all. You will enjoy that. So I thank you for watching. I've been the 10th enemy. Goodbye. See you next time.